We zero episode three. He actually did live. Is this Reinhardt's bed? This is Reinhardt's bed. Very bare, bare room. Return by death, TM. Still hasn't given up on this being a fantasy world. Right, well, here we are. Those were kind of my expectations as well. List of people getting a harem before Subaru. Puck, Reinhardt. <laughs> We've only just gotten started. It's sort of an empty painting, just like Reinhardt's room. It's a dream. Hello. I mean, I think so far Subaru is the NPC. The other day I was doing my usual morning routine of drinking coffee out of a bag at the local convenience store and someone started talking to me. And after the interaction, I had one of the same five thoughts I have always have running in a loop in my mind. Wouldn't life be fun if you treated it like a game and just, you know, talk to random people on the street, accepted side quests, etc. And then I thought back to the interaction and, and what the guy had revealed about himself was that he was a former boxer turned gangster and that his mission was to save Jeju Island from being bought out by foreign interests. And I had the thought of, well, if we're thinking in those terms, actually I was the NPC because <laughs> his life sounds really interesting. He's got a whole quest and everything. He also initiated the conversation. He ended the conversation. I was just coffee drinking foreigner. They probably didn't even bother drawing my character sprite for the text box. How do you manage to do three insults in one sentence? Is it even a game? We've established almost nothing. What is a manual girl? You walked into her library bedroom. You might be experiencing return by death soon. That sounds like a violation, but I don't know. Are we in, like, Persona's Velvet Room or something? Some kind of game purgatory? Repeating room, dull artwork, empty bedroom, skill assessment character in a library. Oh, she's in there. I didn't notice her before because of the two rems. Weird. Rem mentioned. I'm judging a man who likes to take a nap. This is one of society's greatest lies. That you save time by getting up early in the morning. We all use the same amount of time. We just wake up at different hours. <laughs> You're not getting more done. You're getting the same thing done earlier. <laughs> Rem 1 and Rem 2. More girls to add to Reinhold's harem. This is horrifyingly creepy. <laughs> Can you wake up less creepily, Suwaru? Can you never do that figure thing again, ever? We're all disappointed in Suwaru right now. We were all just violated by that man. My crib sister doesn't get a name. My name is Ram and this is Ram's sister. She's always looking for an excuse to try to help people, but that's not where the motivation started. Victory! He's awake. See, he gets it. Puck gets it. He sleeps until whatever time. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Like, Puck has to go to sleep mid battle, just totally gambling at everyone's lives. Like, well, I hope they're here when I wake up. Like, imagine you're out drinking with your friends, and then suddenly a huge group fight breaks out, and everyone whips out knives, and you're like, oh crap, I gotta go to sleep. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> hope you're still alive tomorrow. <laughs> Why does he just have a way of like phrasing things in the most terrible way possible? It's much worse. <laughs> Wait, is this her house? Mm, 
Another one for Pax Harem. I like this guy already. Was <laughs> it her father or something? That's why she does not deserve a name. They're not really twins. My sister's like me, but a little bit lesser. There's also, you know, bowel hunters. And we've only been here a few days. <laughs> Why does he talk like that? Or does he sound like he's auto-tuned? <laughs> Maybe that's just あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
find a way to injure himself in every single way. How do you injure himself during laundry? He would be a pretty masterful play if this was deliberate on his part. Another person who has a harem before Subaru. And he loves it. That's a real crush. I love the way you sit there and look at reels. <laughs> I love the way that you sit in a chair and eat food. There was that one time that you walked. Jokes on you, I learned nothing. He's so lucky she takes it as a joke. That's what I was saying, yeah. That's fine, that's really how he feels. And that's great. That's honorable. And I like how he honors his brokenness. I don't know, I kind of like it. I would keep it. I earned it. I earned these cuts. Exactly. No, I get it. I'm with you, Subaru. It's like pain after a workout, or calluses on your hands, or your legs aching after a long walk. I am completely inept at everything. I have just slightly higher priorities than this. In fact, was not listening. He does have that kind of like blind, what would you call it? I think it's connected to beginner's luck, where you actually can do really well just trusting your base instincts and assumptions. You haven't overcomplicated things yet. The complications are really important long term because it's a complex game you're playing. People have already mastered the basics and moved past them, which is partly why the basics work. Because they're basic, it'll run its course really quickly and people will just adapt to what you're doing. You won't survive in the deeper water. Combined with the fact that I truly believe and have experienced, relationships are sort of like celestial bodies competing with their gravity. If you have overwhelming force of personality, people likely will get sucked into your gravity. If you just have so much positive exuberance. For example, even if you're being ridiculous, people may end up just giving into it. And often actually that's what people want. I think that's part of what charisma is. Charisma is partly being able to define the gravity so that people can just like be satellites comfortably. Oh, he's got a 100% success rate. Why does he sleep in his full outfit? Wait, do we are we are we repeating? We re why are we repeating? Why are we repeating? We didn't die? That sucks. All those house, house chores have to be done again? Why though? Why? So it's not death. Death is not the condition. How do you make it out of this one then? Yeah, this is really disorienting. Also, that all happened in one day? That almost makes you feel like it's not the result of his choices and it's the result of somebody else trying to get something out of him. There was nothing I could think of that we saw that he did horribly wrong. Since not Betty. That's really frustrating, yeah. You think you're building relationships, you're building nothing. You're building false memories. Though I guess you're also building understanding and character. It hurts though. And all alone in it too. At least in Science Kid he had allies eventually who understood. But do you remember? Did you die? Maybe he was murdered in his sleep? This is a very weird thing to say, but I almost feel like it would be a relief if it found out he was murdered in his sleep. Because then at least you sort of understand what's going on. Gotta just figure out the system, Subaru. 
Figure it out, Subaru? I mean, I'm also lost. It's just something to figure out. Uh, maybe, like, tell someone. I don't know. They don't think you're weird, but... Good chance they don't remember the conversation later anyway. Maybe it reveals something. Wait, 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 I'm lost. Hold on. I think I lost track of how many times he woke up in the mansion. Because he met her before the most recent checkpoint, which is this day. So what trick is she referring to? Oh, but this time he can ask for a better deal. He doesn't have to be a butler. Weird, he's keeping all these promises that no longer exist. I mean, the same thing again. Same request. But what do you even try differently this time? He can get really good at peeling potatoes, though. Yeah, how do you end up in the, the Sony universe? Don't have to, you don't have to move that way. Uh, you don't have to make those sound effects. Why did you bite his hand? That, I don't think that's the message you wanted to send. <laughs> like this interaction. Ram! Finally got sister's name. That's definitely how it seems so far. For what? She didn't. She definitely didn't. Oh, uh, even... <laughs> and that's your reaction. Fetal position. Oh yeah, he's learned this language. He's lucky they speak the same language. At least she's honest. What is it with anime writers and making their own languages? We're always at work. It's just their life. It could have been nice. It almost, almost was. What a thing to say. That one weirdly felt like a compliment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This keeps getting worse. I'm like confused about what day it is right now, honestly. Did they not go to sleep? It cut from her sleeping on the bed to him getting his suit on. And now it's daytime, so he could be potentially losing two days? Don't give this man any power. That's what she wanted. Another simple request. Correct. Unless he didn't do the finger thing. <laughs> That's a pretty astute comment. Kids are maybe even more severe in some ways, because it's their mission to figure that out, to figuring out their place in the world. I feel like socially things have never been as ruthless as when I was young adolescence. I think that was probably the peak time. Time has a way of sort of smoothing out people's wrinkles. Usually, not always. I mean, every now and then, even as an adult, you'll meet kids who are like <laughs> looking for an adult to beat down on, seeing how far they can push it. Subaru was that person. Oh, why do I look so painful? And her honesty. That's why Ram, I guess, speaks for Ram.
神がかるの鬼バージョンなんかよくね鬼好きなんですか Are you a demon? 鬼って未来の展望を話すと一緒に笑ってくれるらしいぜ特に来年の話とか爆笑してくれるって言うからな He just made the right speech choice somewhere. その笑顔100万ボルトエミリア様に言いつけますよ。くどいたのと違うよ。They figured out his game so quickly. That was a very odd comment in the middle of this conversation about the gods and demons. And I'm not sure why she reacted that way. Maybe she is a demon. I know basically nothing about this world, despite having been here for technically weeks, I guess, at this point. But I do sort of think about this, and I think maybe this is what people are getting at with the old models for the gods, where they are not supreme beings that encompass everything and are, are responsible for everything and are sort of the essence of all things, but more like personification. Of just forces that appear frequently in humanity, forces or occurrences or patterns. Maybe they're just a very romantic form of abstraction. Also, and I guess separately, it is kind of cool to think about how the collective actions and beliefs and thoughts of humans create something almost like a, a different life force. Or entity where it's not anything alive on its own, it's an aggregate, but that aggregate also starts to have feedback into the whole, into the individuals. One way you maybe can start to form a tangible vision of this collective will or whatever it is, or ideology as a living being, is that it, it has its own natural selection. For example, ideas, if they don't have something gripping, if they can't feed on a host, disappear. But the ones that can successfully live, so to speak, by embodying enough hosts continues to proliferate. So, like, you have this intangible thing, this Concepts or set of concepts under an umbrella, subject to the very same forces of death and natural selection that animal life is. Demonic inspiration, as a contrast to divine inspiration, not quite sure what to make of, except that people definitely do get a lot of ideas and are driven to great lengths by demonic things. We'll get bonus teacher. Keep it together, Subaru. He's trying, you can't see it here. He tried to activate that dialogue. <laughs> Whoops, that failed. This was way more abrupt and unnatural than last time. Probably get teased by kids. And why? And is it more important than like me training to become a deity? How does this thing still have battery? Definitely cause trouble for Subaru. He's gonna get picked on by those pertinent angels. There it is again with the gravity. She's also extremely nice and charitable. Suddenly, all our horrible butler tasks and studying tasks became worth it. I'm a little bit confused about the timeline here and the days that are passing, but it seems like we haven't gotten to the event yet. We haven't gotten to the test yet of whether or not he's he can make it past this this sequence. So far, things have gone the same this time around, but in a very different way, very different path. Like instead of the flower field date, it was the in the room, not moonlight date request with the same result. But better conversations with Rem. But we still haven't figured out like what is the the trigger, whether or not he can continue, which I guess will probably be next episode. Oh, there's an after credit scene. Oh, it's time. It's time. This is it. Just don't sleep this time. So we'll figure out what killed him, I guess. Something happened. I mean, probably his death, right? Somebody may have killed him in his sleep. Yeah, I think it was an improvement overall. Falling asleep. Can't let it happen. I thought his heart was beating because of Amelia before. Maybe he's ill. Death by illness? Can you find Beatrice's door when you're sick? This very barren, boringly designed palace will be the death of him. Who just did that? That's your arm. Sick and armless. This looks like Return by Death. Gruesome. 
The morning of our promise is still distant. So much for our date this time around anyway. The hell killed him. It's confusing because there's two things. I mean, he got murdered. But it seems like what probably killed him the last time was whatever affliction he was suffering from. So we're now three episodes into the director's cut, which I think would be episode five of the original. We're not really getting much of the world, but my favorite thing about this so far is the way he's interacting with individual people. If they're fleshed out, if I get to know more about Ram and like why she's so thrilled about the demonic inspiration thing, I'll be really happy. Same with Amelia. I mean, she's really sweet, a little bit too sweet. I think she could stand to be a little bit more discerning with Zubar's creepiness. She feels like the starter level social link character where every speech choice gets you positive points, except for calling her by the wrong name. But there's definitely a lot to her character. Ram and Ram, I mean, they look similar, but it feels like they're going to be very distinct characters. Then you got Felt, who's potentially royalty and Reinhold was potentially God among all humans.